So this weekend we had a group at my office, um, some doctors, a couple assistants, and even a dental student. And uh, these small groups in particular are nice because we get a chance to really brainstorm and uh, think about ideas. And once in a while we have these um, moments of inspiration, if you will, uh, just sort of creative moments. And I guess they happen at all courses, but um, this one in particular is it's so simple, uh, but it, it just kind of came up while working over a case. And I thought I would share it with you guys. Um, so here... Basically, one of the pro things we do when we're basing models, and we talk about, um, we, we, we've added a base here, and I'm eventually going to cut it, I'm going to shorten it, get rid of this little flange here. When I've extruded, I've extruded over more than I need to. I'm going to trim it down. Uh, you can hollow it, and that's not something you have to do, but that's one of those options. But generally speaking, you know, I'm a big advocate of vertical printing, which requires us to put a plane cut in the back, on the distal end of it. And that right, that is the is the tr one of the the longest steps. It's very simple in um, what all is going on, but uh, it's sometimes th for the computer to process it, it, it can be it can be a struggle. So let me I'm gonna show you what it is that we're doing here. Um, I'm gonna go to plane cut, and one of the thing and so here's where. Here's where we get into an issue. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this little uh, <coughs> this little bar here, and it allows me to change the angle. And if I come up to the actual hash marks up here, I can determine the specific degrees, clicking to five degree increments. Well, so I'm at 90 degrees right here. If I scroll back to the distal end, um, when we get sort of off the second molars, is which is about where we'd want to do a plane cut. Uh, let's go just a touch more. And let's take a look at the heels of these. So you can see they're big, solid surfaces, and that's what we need. We need a if not, um, if it ends up open, and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute, uh, you run into problems. So when you tend to get th when you get to the back here, when you have just a vertical and 90 degree plane cut, I don't usually, almost ever, have an issue with finding it finding it closed. Maybe if I'm coming up through in the middle of the teeth up here, then yes, you might have those little openings you see popping up uh, on that right side. But you know, as long as we're staying to the um, you know, distal to the second molars, usually that's not an issue. However, sometimes uh, I'll advocate for actually putting a, an angle to the cut, a 5 or a 10 degree from, you know, vertical cut. It, you know, if you're missing teeth and you have lone standing premolars, whatever, I might go to 10 or retrocline incisors. Um, so that's where, you know, sometimes I'll do that. The problem is, is it's pretty common to have issues with open meshes when we do these. Um, and I would say it's actually uh, quite common. And so you have to go back and forth until you find that magic spot that is not open. So, you know, it's frustrating and you can s it can be really tedious and it can just take time and, and really be obnoxious. So one of the things that we came up with in this, uh, you know, just kind of stumbled upon as I was trying to do a plane cut and trying to find that perfect spot, if you just go ahead and enter your plane cut, as a dist as just a 90 degree plane cut, no nothing big, nothing no difference. It's you're going to have a lot of success with that. Now, if you need to have that angle, how can we accomplish that? Well, let's go ahead and we'll just uh, I'll go ahead and hollow this model out. You don't have to hollow it, but let's just do that for the sake of um, you know giving a full example of things that we might do. And now I'm going to do my plane cut so that I've got a um, a model that is more the size of that I'm really going to want to print. I don't want to have all that excess, just a waste of material and um, waste of build platform size. So this is a, a reasonably sized model. There's a bit of a, an occlusal cant to that. Not a big deal. I'm not really worried about it for this video. I mean, I'd probably orient that a little better. But so you know, right now we're ready to print this. And so uh, the problem is, is what if we wanted the angle? You know, obviously, I've already skipped that process, but how can I account for that angle now? How can I, g I go back and fix that? Well, one of the things that I've shared on um, uh, Thingiverse, uh, three, uh, a free 3D um, file sharing platform, is this model platform. Let's just go ahead and append. I'm going to drag and drop it in here. Now, if we're doing just a 90 degree um, print, I can bring this. Sorry, let's get this out of the way. I can bring this up here, turn it 90 degrees, and stack it right on the end, the ends of this this model. And slide it back just a touch. 
and now I'm ready to print. So that, that's one of the options. Now the problem is, is what about we just talked about the angle? What if we want to do an angle plane, an angle, cu uh, an angle print? Well, instead of doing the distal plane cut, which is problematic, you might just skip that and do your five degree angle here. Expe extend this a little bit. Make sure there's nothing that sticks off. Uh, it's not a, not as big of a deal as 90 degrees, but when you do have a an angle, you might you want to make sure because some things might not s you know succeed in the print. But we're fairly well covered. There's nothing sticking out of the model. And now when I print, I'm going to attach to here. I didn't have to do any sort of distal plane cutting, and yet I've still accomplished my five degree angle for my print. You could do the same thing with a 10 degree. Um, now let's take a look and see what that looks like. If I do change it another five degrees, sometimes you'll, you're more likely, you want to make sure that it's closed up here. Okay, so there's nothing there. But now you're sticking out. So what are your options? The quick, th easiest option is just to grab, make sure you're in the local coordinates, not world coordinates, but local coordinates, and just expand it this way until you can get both get rid of those points and not have any open mesh down here. And now we've we've addressed that. Nothing sticking out. This platform right here is my original size is about a one ml worth of um, resin. And this maybe it's one and a half. What does that equate to in cost? About fifteen cents to twenty some cents. So uh, a little bit of effort, a little bit of wasted resin is going to make everything print better and support it a little better without the hassle of having to do it an angled distal plane cut. So anyway, hopefully that's helpful for some of you. Uh, if not, uh, no worries. You don't need to do it. You can keep doing what you were doing. But uh, if so, uh, hope it helps.